So, there's this kid on YouTube who makes Siege content. You might have heard of him. His name is Bolo. Hello, oh, Bulo. Hello. Bueller? Bueller? I don't know. Bolo, yeah, that's the one. Call you Bo. Yeah. Everyone says you're the best. Is this true? Since creating his channel in 2016, Jason Bolo Doty has amassed over 800,000 subscribers and one of the most fanatical followings in esports, uploading montages of plays that make diamonds look like coppers. Oh, oh my Bolo god. Why oh, oh, oh. In bathroom, in bathroom. Oh my god, Bolo. Uh, what the fuck? Back in the day, a lot of people thought I cheated. So I was like, you know, maybe maybe this will help sway them. Like maybe like if they see my gameplay, like they understand is like, oh, maybe he's not cheating. Bolo is one of the most mechanically gifted siege players in the world. When I first saw Bolo break onto the scene, it was this almost inhuman accuracy. And they coined the term like Bolo flick flick and bolo lean and stuff like that because of just the way he played and you know we've seen crazy players step forward but then he comes forward and he does something that a lot of people haven't whether he's pulling off his signature one taps executing some incomprehensible wall bang <gasps> oh my god i fucked achieved achieved got fucked or just absolutely shitting on pro players Bolo has gone from a pub star who everyone accused of hacking to the most highly touted prodigy the game has ever seen. Bolo is one of the highest raw mechanical players that I've ever seen. And now he's finally 18, old enough to play in Pro League and to be the face of TSM's newest Siege roster. You know, Bolo has been a very uh, prized commodity yeah. and a sought-after prospect for a very, very long time uh, ever since this game has come out and he's been uh, an, a household name throughout Siege. It's official. This YouTuber has hit the big time and everyone is asking the same question. When does Bolo play? Hey guys, if you want to follow more of Bolo's journey in Siege Esports, make sure to tune into Ubisoft's six major Raleigh 2019. You can find links in the description for details. Now, Bolo's road to Siege stardom began in 2015, when he first picked up the game's open beta. CSGO was getting pretty boring. I was playing CSGO for three or so years. Saw Siege come out, tried the beta. Just the format of the game, like the MOBA style of like, operators and everything like how there's counters to you know every single one i don't know i just kind of liked it by june of the following year the 15 year old phenom decided to upload some of his gameplay footage onto youtube and from the get-go it was clear that this kid was an animal i'm just gonna wait for the kid I just had some friends who were like, hey, you shouldn't, you know, upload on YouTube, make make some montages, this and that. And I was like, you know, sure, why not? But there was one problem. Boa was actually too good. Change your muted right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That is so... And he just randomly shot through the garage, dude. Literally, he shot at one spot, he completely flicked to the other side of the garage and shot and killed me. Headshot me. Right in the head. Uh, Bobo is not, there's no, this kid's not legit. Now, Bobo wasn't a cheater. He was just an absurdly talented 16 year old with inhuman aim, otherworldly map awareness, and a hilariously unpronounceable name. I hate Bobo. I can't work on these guys. I just think he's stupid and it's yeah. annoying, that's all. Eventually, he decided to lean into it, splicing clips of his accusers into his highlight reels. No drone, sprint on in with the call out of they're in, they're in church, and so he just sprints through. Nope, I don't even I don't even care if he's just gonna go use this in a meme video. I'm gonna report Boilo every single fucking time I ever play him. Back in the day it was like, you know, cool. You know, like they think I'm cheating, like, you know, this and that. I'm just dumpstering them and they're they're just they're just mad over it. It came to a point where like I try to get my name out there in like a positive environment and everything. Like I try to like grow my name and essentially my brand, but everybody thinks I'm a cheater so, and I can't escape that. Once 2018 rolled around, Bolo became the scourge of even North America's best pros. Players who, despite already being in Pro League, were constestly being asked whether they thought Bolo was the be all and end all of Siege. We'll see how I long just it think lasts. at the end of the day, we all need to fucking 
come together as one, as one unit, and take down fucking Boilo. Part of the hatred stemmed from the fact that they all thought he was cheating, so dying to Bolo was never an embarrassment. Once they realized he wasn't, though, well... That one was in there, Jordan. It didn't take long for the community to wonder if Bolo was the most naturally gifted player Siege had ever seen. Bolo is one of the highest raw mechanical players that I've ever seen. In, in my in my life in, in Siege, that is, right? He has incredible mechanical control over his movements, and that makes a great player. The problem was that no one could actually figure out if that was true. See, Bolo wasn't 18, so he couldn't play in Pro League, no matter how good he was. But speculation continued. Bolo's actually gonna fucking... He might be disgusting in, in, in Pro League, he might be. His playstyle is ranked playstyle, 100%, right? But if you just take his aim and just mm -hmm. put that on an actual good Pro League player, I actually don't think Bolo is, is brain dead. I don't think so. I don't think he's smart, but I don't think he's bad. In April 2018, he joined Disrupt Gaming and won CCS Season 3, one of Siege's most notable community leagues. But he still has Bolo pressed right up against him on the cash wall. Billboard trying to take the angle, but it'll be Bolo to clean it up. DG Disrupt Gaming are your North American CCS Season 3 champions. As 2018 drew to a close, Bolo had become one of the biggest content creators in Siege. And in October, he decided to leave Disrupt to focus on expanding his explosive brand. I am no longer a part of Disrupt. I have left. I am done. No more Disrupt. Bolo DG, no. Bolo Disrupt, no. Bolo, Bolo. That is the name, and that is it. And by this point, Bolo had basically become a celebrity. Pick a Bolo, pick a Bolo, pick a Bolo, pick a Bolo, someone pick a Bolo! Hello. Hello, Bulo. Bueller? Bueller? I don't know. Bolo, yeah, that's the one. Call you Bo. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you, there was some uh, troubles, troubles, troubles with the, with the okay. pronunciation. Yeah. Everyone says you're the best. Is this true? I'm okay. Well, they drew him down at me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking Bolo! Eventually, rumors started to spread that as soon as he hit 18, Bolo would get snatched up by some team with a pro league spot. Some people even suspected that he'd already signed a contract, which wasn't that surprising considering that Bolo's fanbase was a little obsessive. Honestly, chat's less toxic when I'm playing cheaters than when I play against Bolo. Like, honestly, like, the people that come here are just, like, complete and total AIDS. Like, disgusting. I don't know where they come from, they just, like, swell up from the sewers. To be honest, like, my community is everything to me. Like, they do have tendencies to kind of, again, get rowdy and everything, but, like, I think that that same amount of people, there's also people that are supporting me till the, till the end, essentially. And it's just, like, it's unbelievable. And by this point, pros had gotten sick and tired of being asked what they thought of him. What are my thoughts on Bolo? I mean, he's cool. I don't know why people ask that so much. What are your thoughts on Bolo? Like, he's a cool guy. Finally, on June 4th, Bolo announced that he'd be playing Season 10 of Pro League with the former Accelerate Gaming roster. And the community went bananas. Well, chat, we all know what's gonna happen in chat today, right? Pingu, what's your thoughts about Bolo joining by Pingu? Have you seen about Bolo joining by Pingu? Bolo, Pingu, Bolo. Like, realistically, like, it's been like a, a dream since I've been playing Siege. And I would tell people, like, down the road, like, you know, a hey, uh, content creation is my priority, you know, this and that, just to kind of, like, hush the people, like, so they could stop, you know, bugging me about it. But, like, deep down, like, deep, deep down, I've always wanted to, like, play competitively and, you know, pro. And then, on June 16th, TSM picked up the roster. Bo didn't get to jump on the server quite yet, though. See, his 18th birthday wasn't until two days after TSM's first game, so he had to sit and watch from the sidelines as his teammates racked up an L without him. Biologic inside of Arsenal, hold, trying to hold on to this site. We'll do his best, but we'll fail. And there you go, 92 Dream Team beating TSM 7-4 on Clubhouse. He played his first match two days later, the day he turned 18, and helped his team secure a tie against Space Station Gaming. And their roster will have a name on it at the very top that you might know and be quite familiar with. Bolo making his Pro League debut, and there's going to be a very large spotlight on him. He has an immense amount of fans. Or in, and then Bolo up for the stairs! Oh, what a lengthy pre-fire on the thinking nade! And it catches his head, and Bolo will find his very first Pro League kill. 
The Lion will push on in. Merc gets one. Rampy will twist. Looks for a second, but won't grab it. Bola will shut him down. And TSM will continue to go. We're barreling towards a draw here in Space Station. We'll find themselves <laughs> in another opportunity, dropping points on the board. That'll be it. It's a perfect trade between both Chala and Bolo, and of course, leave it to Bolo to be the person to get the very final kill after his debut. Even though TSM haven't had the greatest start to their season, Bolo's very presence has increased any Pro League viewership substantially. Since Bolo came to Pro League, the views for his games have just been absolutely bananas. They have smashed records for most views within like 24 hours, most viewed games, and he, you know, his fans and chatter about him dominate the Twitch chat. They dominate the subreddit. They dominate interest on YouTube. It's good to see because, like, I've always been a fan of Pro League. I've always been a fan of the competitive siege scene, and to like, not quote unquote single handedly, but like have a pretty big impact on like increasing the numbers and getting it out there to like everybody else is just fantastic. Rainbow Six Pro League deserves every little like support that they can get, and. I, it's essentially the future of Rainbow. Every week, legions of fans tune in to TSM's matches to see if this is the week when Bolo will finally dominate. If she moves to the left while well, she's in a lot of trouble, and there's Bolo missing his shots, but he'll clean up. And Jason Doty will save the day. A really good performance from Bolo with 14 kills. Merc as well contributed. The community has even gone so far as to make a website called WhenDoesBoloPlay.com. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you were wondering, uh, Bolo plays match number one today. There's no question that Bolo could become the simple or Sumail of Siege, and it's safe to say that TSM knew that when they signed him. TSM, this is not their first rodeo. Like, they did that very intentionally. They know if they're gonna enter Rainbow Six, they need a strong content creator to do it. They wouldn't have entered it unless they, they, they didn't know that. That said, juggling content creation with professional play is a tall order, and it remains to be seen whether Bolo can balance those. It's really hard to balance content creation and playing professionally, right? Because for most people, playing professionally is always gonna take priority. Content creation is what will take like my name to like the next level and everything. Like th that is my like my main future, but my priority does lie within Pro League because again, it's something I've wanted to do for so long. It's probably not the best decision, you know, prioritizing Pro League over content creation, but that's just something I want to do. Like that's like my aspiration and dreams essentially. The last time a YouTube prodigy competed in Pro League, it didn't go so well. And last time I met a poly player like that, it was Serenity17, and he literally got so depressed from it that he stopped playing the game. Like, Jason's like, Bolo's one of my favorite people in Siege. I would hate that poly changed him because of that. I feel bad for Bolo and how passionate his fan base is because they set expectations that I think can often be unreasonable. The pressure is definitely, definitely there, and I don't think it'll ever disappear. There's a reason it's rare to see someone go from content creator to professional player. Aside from the hectic schedule, there is a huge gap between high-level matchmaking and pro league. But Bolo might be good enough to cross it. It's definitely a, a change of change of pace for sure. Still, still adjusting. So we're slowly getting there, but I think give it give it a little bit, and TSM will uh, definitely be a force. As Bolo, oh, he hits a nice shot onto Laxing. There's still one HP on Skies. So they do have the ability to punch it out. Oh, and that guy's down. Bolo finds two. And he's going to be a 1v2 now. The Eager comes flying across, but no. It's going to be Bolo picks up an ace. But Merc is going to have to be that one player to not. And Bolo will get the final kill there from Workshop. It's GG. It's going to the Raleigh Major for TSM. Aggressive take, and Bolo with a nice flick onto Bolo. Can he find the second? And he will! Bolo showing everybody how it's done. Bolo playing close to the door as well, as he goes for the prone angle to work his way around. PX wins it, but it's Pojo Man! TSM to main stage! And North America has their second representative. Buelo, Bolo, Bo Bobo, it's Bolo. <laughs> I've I've been I've been around for quite a bit, and you're still calling me some weird weird variation of my name. It's Bolo.